In this example, we are asked to give the equation of the line that goes through the point 7 fourths, 5 fourths and is perpendicular to minus 2x plus 1 equals 3 halves minus 3x. Now, the first thing we should notice is that this equation does not have a y, and therefore it will simplify to x equals number. It is a vertical line. Any line that is perpendicular to a vertical line has to be a horizontal line. And the only horizontal line that would go through this point would be the line y equals 5 fourths. I have an answer. Here in slope-intercept form is the answer to the question. But would I get full marks on an exam question if I did it this way? Probably not. I have to justify my answer somehow. I have to show the work. Now, I could say the things that I just said to justify it verbally, written out in a sentence, and in that, that, in a theory sort of way, would justify the answer. But I can also use the same procedure that I've been using for my oblique lines, and it will still work, and I will show you how. The first thing to do is to find the slope of this line. Since it's a vertical line, its slope is undefined. It's going to be a constant number over zero. So I can just say m1 is equal to 1 over 0. This is the simplest fraction that is undefined. And since m1 is perpendicular to m2, m2 will be the negative reciprocal of this fraction. It would be negative 0 over 1. So I found a way to show my work and justify the slope of the horizontal line, because this is equal to zero, and that is the slope of all horizontal lines. Now I can use this fraction and the point I was given in the usual way to derive the equation of the line. Negative zero over one is equal to y minus five fourths over x minus seven fourths, cross multiplying I get y minus 5 fourths equals 0. This is standard form, and if I rewrite it like this, y equals 5 fourths, here it is in slope-intercept form. So I don't have very much work to show, and things simplify very quickly, but I have shown my work and justified my answer. It's the same answer that I got before. In this example, we are being asked to give an equation in standard form of the straight line that forms a right angle with, and is therefore perpendicular to, the line x plus 0 0.125 equals 0, and goes through the point 0 0.5, 1.25.